Today we're learning how to make this triangle inspired opening slide in PowerPoint all the way from scratch, including the animations that you can see. Let's start from a blank slide and add a gradient fill to the slide. We're going for a darker template. You can choose whichever color you like. So let's do a dark blue and a little bit lighter blue. This may be a bit too light. So let's play with the settings and choose one darker version. This looks a little bit better. Next, we want to add a triangle on the screen. So shapes and select the triangle. Hold shift while you drag the triangle across the screen and rotate it 180 degrees. Remove the outlines and make it white. Position it on top of the slide so it meets the border and increase the size a little bit. Once you're happy, right click, copy, right click, paste and rotate it 180 degrees and put it at the bottom. So it almost touches the other triangle, but not exactly. Right click, copy, right click, paste once more. Rotate it 90 degrees to the left and position it in the border. Hold option while you drag on the sides. So this way it increases from both the sides or from both the top and bottom in this case. And then make sure that the spacing between the triangles is about the same size and also the same angle. Zoom in again to make sure that everything is correct. Shift this one a little bit to the left. That looks better. And now the space between all the triangles is about the same size. Next, we want to select the triangles that we have created. So select the, all the three, go to shape format and merge them together union. Now they are acting as one shape. Add a triangle, add a rectangle on top of everything. Remove the outline and make sure that it fits the entire screen. Or at least the slide. Send to back. And now we want to select the background, the blue one, and the shapes that we have merged and intersect. This way we have created a shape of the different triangles that nicely meets the borders of the slide. And that's easy to work with. This also acts as a new shape, so you can give it any color that you want or any other fill. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to give it a fill with a picture. So right click format shape. And for that, let's create a new slide to get the background image. Remove all the text that's on there. Add an image and let's scale it up so it fills the entire slide. Let's get rid of these format tabs. And once it's filled, right click. Cut the image, and now it's on our clipboard. Select the shape, picture or texture fill, and then select clipboard, and that paste whatever you had selected. Check the tile picture as texture, and then play around with the offset a little bit. Let's go for 20 something, that way we see the top of the mountain, so you position the image as you like. Next, we want to add some extra elements to the slide. So let's go for a shape, add some extra triangles to give some depth to the images and reduce it so it fits within the existing triangles. Remove outline, make it white, right click, format shape. And now we're going to add some transparency, 90%, maybe a little bit less, 80 something, 85. That's already looking better. This gives a little bit of extra uh, touch to your, your image that you're creating. Do the same for the top triangle and the triangle on the side. Here we also want to hold the option button so that we can scale it from both sides at the same rate. So the angle remains the same. There we go. Now we've created the visual, the image part of the slide. Let's look at the left side and add some context. We don't need this empty slide, so let's work on the first one. Add a text box. This can be your title. I'll just use title as an example, but feel free to use whatever text you want. Select the title. We're going for the font Avenir next because it has a really large bold font and go for heavy. Increase the font size to about 150. Scale the text box a little bit. Drag it to the right. Position it in the middle. Make it white. And now we're going to duplicate this text box for a subtitle. So hold 
Option or hold Alt and drag it. Change the title to subtitle, reduce the font size. And let's go for a little bit of a more modern font. So a sign painter, which is a handwritten font, which looks a lot better with a heavy font. Give it a contrasting color. Yellow will look nice on this slide. Align to the right and position as you like. I like to position it on the right side so it gives a good balance to the title and also makes the, the focus point in the center. Right click format object and we're going to add some shadows to the text, to the title, so text option shadows. Let's do them one by one to give them different shadows. The title one, text option shadow, and this one just a regular drop shadow from the top right. Play with the distance a little bit, transparency and blur until you're happy with the result. And for the subtitle, we want the shadow to go upwards on the existing title. So from the bottom upwards, blur, that gives a little bit of the, the depth that you create between the two titles. That's an effect which I quite like. Maybe distance a little bit less. That looks better. Let's also add some dummy text on the slide text box below. This is very common to add some text on a slide, add some dummy text and position it at the bottom. So you can add quite a lot on one slide and still have a pretty balanced overview. If you want to add your company logo or any other icon, just go to the icon settings, travel, in our case, insert the icon, and then you can do, you can position it on the top. There's quite some space left. Let's make it white. And here it could be nice if we position it on the eye as a little dot on the eye, maybe scale it a little bit down. So that is an option which will look rather nice. Or if you want to make your icon a little bit more subtle, you can also increase the size. Right click format shape, format graphic, and make it a little bit transparent. That way it's less visible, but still like a subtle touch to your slide. And then increase the shape and it can be quite large and in the background. Shift it to the back, so it's more subtle. Let's even do it a little bit larger. So this could also work and give a nice touch to your slides. Let's preview and see what it looks like. That is already a pretty good looking slide. Now, if you want to make the transition to the content, flowing content, let's do that. Right click new slide, remove all the text boxes, format background, let's give it the same gradient fill. And let's add some of the content from the first slide. It can really be whatever content that you like. We're just doing this for the transition. Let's align them to the middle, align to center, I mean, that's better. Position everything right. And I'll speed this up because it's just playing around with some text. Here I also like to add the triangles in with a lot of transparency on both the sides to fill up the space on the slide. And that also gives some relation to the cover slide that you made. So you have one consistent style. Positioning everything in the middle. And then once we're happy, we go to transitions and let's use a push transition from the bottom up. So push and effect options. Duration a little bit longer and let's preview. And here we can see between the slides, there's quite a harsh line. So we can shift that by just turning the gradient around. Right click format background on the second slide and choose the direction of the gradient. So the dark part is on top and then it connects with the bottom part of the first slide. So it's the same gradient effect. And preview again. And this looks a lot smoother in your presentation. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, make sure to check the video on your screen right now.